if block. If block can be used to fork a sequence into two different paths based on the various conditions. So, if, if block we can select different conditions. One is to ask the user to perform the decision. Another is to check for different values. And we can also check if the file exists or if there is an error state in Davisoft. For our example, we will use the option to check for different values. And in this case, we want to check if the frequency is greater than 1200 Hz and at the same time lower than 1400 Hz. So it needs to be between those two different values. Then, based on the decision uh, done from the conditions, the sequence either forks, if the condition is true, it forks down this way, following the green check mark. So this is our true path. In this case, we want to say that the frequency is in range. And if the frequency is out of range, if the, if the condition is false, in this case, it continues uh, this, this way, following the, the red X mark here. So on the right side, and down to this block. For this example, we will be just checking continuously for the frequency. And of course, because of that, we need to loop back to the if block. Let's see how that works. Right now it says that the frequency is out of range because it was lower than 1200 Hz. If I whistle in between 12 and 1400, okay then the frequency is in range. Okay, that's it for the if block.